Hi and welcome to the first video review that I'm going to be carrying out. I am looking at ethical clothing at the moment and I have partnered up with the fantastic Defy the Norm, which is a really amazing, strong-willed, em empowering brand. It's kind of designed for strong women that give a damn, that care about themselves, that care about the environment. And it's led up by the very passionate Hastina Latif. And uh, I can say, ha having met her several times, that she has a very strong vision for the brand and what the clothes represent and the type of women that she hopes will embrace the designs that Defy the Norm produce. So without further ado, let's get started. So what have I got to talk about with you today? Well, I'm just gonna pick up some of the items. I've got right here, the shorts. Okay, so you can see here, these are the lovely, they're called the ECAT shorts, but they're kind of an Aztec printed um, style. So they're hand woven. Um, they are crafted beautifully, actually. So, um, you know, the one thing I always like to do is take a good look at the zips. Now, this is a plastic zip, but it's a hidden zip. So, um, you know, sometimes these ones can be a little tricky. You know, they catch and things like that. but. On the whole, I've had no problems with uh, the zips on these shorts. Uh, the fit is very comfortable, they're high-waisted. Um, the hems and seams um, stitched very well. They, um, they haven't got flimsy, light bits of stitching. You can tell that they've actually been made with care. So yeah, these are the uh, shorts. So, I'll bring them back here. You can see um, I will have the photographs and I uh, can show you how I've managed to style these. So overall, um, would I buy these shorts? Uh, yes, I would. Because what I love about them is you can dress them up kind of sophisticated. You can dress them down with a pair of gladiator sandals and a vest. Um, you, you know, this is the type of design actually um, because it's almost timeless, this pattern um, will be in and out of fashion. And it's a kind of piece that you can wear in the summer. And you can also team this up in the winter. Um, I've got a photograph which I took um, where I'm wearing a black bodysuit, um, a pair of over-the-knee boots and these shorts. So and you can actually wear these with tights as well. So, yeah, I think you can get multiple looks out of the Picat shorts. So well worth the investment you can definitely get about five different styles, at least five outfits out of these shorts, just with some basic pieces. Okay. And also, they, they really are very comfortable. And um, I, mean, I mean, who wants to be in clothes that make you feel uncomfortable? But right? they, they, they fit on and you kind of forget that you're wearing them. So that's also very important. Okay, so we get a big thumbs up for the ECAT shorts, the design, the quality, the style, the ability to um, style it actually with lots of different outfits. That's very important for me. I always like to get at least five looks if I can out of one piece. Um, and actually more importantly, um, part of my new sustainable ethical um, fashion approach is to buy less, do more with what I have, and uh, kind of pull things out from the back of the wardrobe. So I didn't buy anything new to style these pieces. I made sure that I used what I already had. Um, that was challenging. Um, there was one dress, which I'll show you, which I really struggled to style. I only had one pair of shoes really that went with it. But when I found that outfit with what I already had, um, yeah, I mean, it totally worked, it rocked. So you see, sometimes it's not about buying everything brand new, it's investing in one or two or three key pieces, and then you've just got a brand new wardrobe. Okay, so felt very confident in these, very empowered, could wear these to the office, to a meeting, to a festival, out and about in town, you know, meeting friends for lunch. So really versatile piece, and they get my vote. So I'm gonna pop these to one side. 
Okay, so the next piece, oh, I absolutely loved this. Uh, it's the Julie jumpsuit, and it, it is here, okay? So it's the white linen jumpsuit. And again, um, I always like to check the zips, uh, the seams, how things are made. Um, again, this one is made beautifully. Uh, the zip is a little bit sticky, but I think that's just, you know, the nature of a new zip and these plastic zips can be a bit like that. Um, but anyway, um, really beautiful piece. Uh, actually thought it would look a little bit different on me. Um, I think, you know, my colorings and maybe the off cream, the white, probably not the best color, um, but you know, it's certainly a piece when I've got a tan that I can wear. And the style of the, the jumpsuit um, is very flattering if you are worried about covering lumps and bumps. Um, for me, I am more of a brace my curves kind of girl, um, and I'm petite too. But it, I mean, it did look good. Um, I liked it. Uh, one of the things that I didn't like about it, though, if I'm 100% honest, um, it's not the the jumpsuit per se, but it was the material. The thing is with linen, um, it creases and it's a nightmare trying to get all the creases out and I hate ironing. So for me, because of the high maintenance of the garment and the ironing and the dry cleaning and the colour of it, it's probably not a piece that I would instinctively invest in just because I don't like ironing. Um, I'm a bit of a lazy bones, busy woman, don't have time to iron and press everything. Um, but anyway, the, the jumpsuit, I managed to get multiple looks out of it and quite cute, actually. Um, I've got a festival look. Um, I've got one with my leather jacket. I've got a more dressy look. Um, I've got a more business meeting look out of it. So, yeah, I mean, really, really universal. You can really style this piece in so many ways. As I said, it's just personal preference. It was just, I don't enjoy ironing. And yeah, this piece um, requires a fair bit of ironing. So, okay. So now the final piece. When I saw it, I thought, ew, okay. I uh, don't think I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Because it's not something that I would have picked up myself. Um, let me explain. It's a waistcoat dress with a sheer panel with a very low drop and um, a weird full circle multiple length skirt. So I did wonder how this was going to look on me because I have a curvy figure. Um, I'm very full hips, I have a very large bottom. Um, but I was surprised actually. Um, this was probably my least favourite piece to style in the beginning because I was so frustrated. Um, I was trying to get, you know, like five different looks out of it and, and I really was only able to get one. But that one look that I created once I kind of figured it out, oh, I loved it. And um, it's funny, isn't it, how these pieces, when you first look at them, you can think, oh, that's not for me. And then when you put it on, it's a different story. Um, and that's one of the things about styling and working with a stylist is they are always going to um, get you to kind of push your own boundaries, to try something new, to step outside of the box. Uh, and the really interesting thing about this dress is, um, you know, I put it on and, and, I, and I immediately felt really, you know, sexy and glamorous and, and really empowered and like, oh, I'm embracing my body and my curves, not hiding them. And I think that's kind of important too, like how an item of clothing can make you feel. So let's go back to the quality. Let's go back to uh, the material, zips, things like that. So this one had um, a metal zip in silver, which for me, when the zips are in silver and gold, I like to either match my zips or I like to do multiple kind of um, tones of zips. So if you've got like a rose gold necklace and a silver zip and gold zip on your bag and, and silver details on your shoes, sometimes it can all, it, it doesn't look so good. Um, so having the silver zip meant um, having to style 
uh, the rest of the pieces, um, making sure that there were hints of silver in there. So I styled these with some Karen Millen shoes that I had on top of the wardrobe. Frankly, I'd forgotten about them. Um, they're a silver glittery. They wrap around the ankles. And I dug around in my jewellery box and I found a piece of costume jewellery. Um, gosh, you know, when I say about um, sustainable, I think I had that piece at my graduation ball at university. That's when I was 21. So that's over, you know, that's 15 years old. So, um, yeah basically defy the norm what have I got to say other than um stumbled across this brand through one of my entrepreneur circles um met the co-founder she was interested in my personal styling uh she gave me some items said work your magic let me know what you think and I'm looking forward to a very honest brutally honest review which is what I've done today so yeah um Defy the norm, uh, an ethical brand to have on your radar. Not all the pieces are going to suit everybody, but not all the pieces in, in any range that you come across will suit everybody. And it's not about your personality. Sometimes it's about your body shape. And sometimes it's not about your body shape, it's your personality. Uh, and one of my key things that I always like to talk about is if you love the outfit and you buy it, and you get it home, you try it on, or you, know, you go into the store and you buy it, it doesn't look quite right, but you love it. Don't let that stop you. Just because it doesn't fit you off the hanger does not mean that that item was not made for you. If it makes you feel great, if you love it, if there's something about it that just compels you to want to buy it, you can imagine yourself using it in, you know, in the next three, four, five years at work, going out with the girls, you know, at weddings, events. Don't be put off by taking your clothes to a tailor. That is one of my biggest tips. And one of the things that people overlook, actually investing in your clothes, getting them tailored and buying good quality clothes is a much better system for the long haul, for you, for others, for the environment, for the labourers that create all this throwaway fashion. You know, really think about what you do when it comes to creating your personal style. Because actually you can be doing a lot more through your consumer choices and by using what you've already got at home. Okay, so I think, you know, that brings me to the end of the video review of Defy the Norm, the up and coming ethical brand. And I'm going to give ethical, the, the ethical clothing brand, I'm going to give them a 4.5 out of 5. I would give them a 5, but I don't think that they've got quite enough items in their range yet. Um, and not all of it was to my taste, but it's a really beautiful brand. Um, you know, what they stand for really resonates with me. And yeah, um, check them out. And coming up will be a selection of photographs showing all the different styles that I came up with, with three key pieces. And then there'll be some information on how to claim your special Roberta Style Lee discount on the range. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video review. Stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Okay, so this promotion that has been arranged by Defy the Norm for Roberta Style Lee members and for a short period for anybody at all that has viewed this video, you can head on over to their website and use the special discount code. It is valid until the end of September 2016. For members of the Roberta Sauli Private Members Club, these discounts will continue throughout the year. For more information on the Private Members Club, please head on over to my website, robertastyoli.co.uk, and you can find out more.